All right, eyes back up here. Okay, so what we want to work on today, today is going to be a writing lesson. Based on your writing from Monday and Tuesday and what I saw in the periodic assessment, you guys are doing a really good job with summarizing the text first, writing a clear assertion, and pulling out evidence. Right? We already pulled the evidence for the test. You guys are doing a great job across the board on those three um, components of your writing. But what we really need to work on is our commentary. Right? We know that we can't score a three without strong commentary. So my goal, and your goal should be everyone in this class, is able to write a three if we can figure out how to write better commentary, and that's what we're going to work on today. All right? So we use this on Tuesday to take notes. I'm going to use the same model again to take notes. So as I'm going over our goal, what's been holding us back, and our solution or our strategy today, you should be writing this on the lines on your handout. All right? So pens are in hand, and everyone's ready to take notes. Come on, Carl. Grit throw it, kid. Ken, are you with me? All right. So what we want to be able to do today our one, our goal is, you got it? You know? What? <laughs> Good. And what do I have to do to write it through? Right? Okay. Commentary, right? So, what we want to be able to do today is write a more developed commentary. Some of you are making a great attempt at commentary, but we need to make sure it's more developed than what we've been doing. So, Amaya, can you remind me, what is our goal for today? What should I write on my line? Mm -hmm. What do we want to be able to do? Good. So, one, write more developed commentary. So, making sure everyone's writing that in three. Come on, Carl. You got this. Everyone should have that down in two. Oh, you mean for the story? That's why sometimes it's yeah. you type that and they have to jump ahead and then you're off. Two, one. Okay. So, like I said, we have been writing commentary, but what's been holding us back from really writing a, a well-developed commentary? So again, wait, hold on. What's been holding us back, what our problem has been, is that we're not making connections. Stop right here. So this is the butt, so oh, you should be writing this down. So be listening and then get ready to write it down. Okay, go ahead. All right. We're not making connections between our evidence and our assertion. Again, the problem, the butt, is that we're not making connections in our commentary between the evidence that we're giving and the assertion that we wrote. Give me 10 All seconds right. to write it down. So write that down, and then I'm going to cold call on someone to tell me what our problem is. Right now? Not making a good point to what we do. All right, so someone help Caleb out. What should I be writing on my line? What has been holding us back from writing really good commentary? Carol? Not making connections. Good. What types of connections? Or connections between what? Because that's the important part. That's all important. All right, so Carol is half of it. So, but we're not making connections. Okay. In our commentary, what we need to do is make connections between our between evidence our and our, and everybody? And your assertion, right? Your evidence and your answer. You have to connect the two of them. That's what we haven't been doing. So B slash T is between, and I'm already thinking you're going to run out of space. Evidence and assertion. You have to make sure you have this piece. It's not just making, about making connections. You have to know between what. So everyone should be copying that right now on your butt line. Tut, what do you mean? You know what I'm talking about? Tut, Tut. So you say make a connection. We use the net, right? Yes, well, let me get to that in one second. Thanks for holding the net. All right, everyone have three. Which means two. Good. <laughs> okay. So now, how are we going to do this, right? Our strategy or our solution, what should go on our so line, everyone's getting ready to write, 
is that we are going to make connections, and specifically what Zakai was asking me is what type, right? So we're going to make text to text and text to cell connections. Write it just like I have it on there. So I want you to copy exactly, put your connections underneath. Because you're going to need a little space to the right. Text to text and text to self. Or just jump in, okay? Copy over here. All right, so everybody together, what types of connections are we going to make? Text to? Self, I mean. Text to text. And text, text to? Self. That was pretty weak, guys. One more time. Everybody text together, to what types of connections? Text to? Text to text and text to self. Nice one man show, okay? Right? All right. And then what I want you to do, you have to make those connections, you have to tie them to your assertion. So I want you to write that here. In order to prove that you did that, you have to use at least one word from your assertion, one word or word or word, maybe. No, one word. From your assertion in your commentary. So if your assertion is private, I'm going to show you how to do this, but I want you to write it right now. We're going to make text to text and text to self connection. We're going to push that back. We're going to make that connection up to our assertion. And the way we're going to show that is we're going to include one word from our assertion in our connection. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. Okay, I promise. Just have it written in three, two. That's a parenthesis. 